Hello there, everybody. How's it going? It's LVA Renerd, and today we're going to be playing some, uh, Condemned. This would have been, uh, Ellen Friends Retro, but if you can see, this is going to be my new Halloween thing, where, uh, every day I'm going to play through, uh, a Halloween game. And, uh, yeah, for, for me, I decided to go for a couple of the classics, like this one, Condemned 1. I, I loved this game when I was, uh, younger. It was a really, really good game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was just really enjoyable, and I loved it. Like, it, even, even for, like, its janky-ass, like, controls and just everything, like, it was still really fun. And, uh, and yeah, uh, that's what we really fun today. And there we go. So... Uh, yeah, pretty much, that's what we're gonna be doing. So, uh, I'm all offline, starting up a new game. I just need to check some things. Difficulty easy, we'll take a normal, always on, subtitles, yes. Uh, what about video options? Yeah, it's actually pretty dark. I'm gonna put it at, like, the 50% point, because, um, yeah, my TV's kinda... Like, it's not going out, but, you know, like, there's black spots and it's hard to see sometimes. I don't want to be running around like a fucking idiot. So, yeah. Um, I wanted to do this Halloween thing because I was like, man, you know what? My birthday is, like, in a couple more days. Um, and honestly, like, it falls on the best time. Being October. And October is just one of the best times because, you know, it's where you like to get scared, you know, spook people and do all that stuff. Like, it was a really good time to do this. And sorry that I haven't, um, what do you call it? Yeah, sorry that it wasn't, like, automatic, like, you know, first day of the month just because, um, yeah, I, I wasn't really ready and I had to, like, find some games and do some more stuff. Like, um... Like, a, a couple of games will be on console, but then a couple will be some that I haven't even heard of. Like, it's just gonna be a big mixture and new thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that that's what, like, I, I'm really excited about because, uh, yeah, I've been on Game Jolt and other websites just trying to find new games to play. And, uh, and yeah, I, I, I love this game. Like, it's just it's so good. Like, I, I remember, like, playing this when I was younger. Also, I have Condemned 2 lying around. But, uh, yeah, this is what I loved about this game, that you were, like, cop guy. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me, body's All this right. way. Alright. Ah, good old Condemned, coming back. I forgot. There we go, got a duck under. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. Patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Them cities crawling with sick killers. Yeah, the best thing about this game, what I loved, was that. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, there's the objective. All right. God, why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members? Some place not so damn. But yeah, um, th this game was really good. <laughs> Love that he almost shot a rat. But uh, yeah, no, this game was awesome. Like I loved playing through this when I was younger. It always gave me the spooks and the chills because it's that time of year. Also, I think you can collect like dead birds and other things. But yeah, uh, I don't, ha I, I don't think there's some on this stage. I don't know. But yeah, it's where you can get some achievements and stuff. I always liked being the whole cop character in games like this. Your stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. Oh yeah, there there were some. I think there was like a dead dead crow or something around here. It's in one of these rooms, and I forgot how useless the fucking flashlight is, like... Uh, the light honestly didn't even help that much, like, it was still fucking dark as shit. Oh wait, move object. I, 
can hear my stinkometer. There we go, I found one. But yeah, see, uh, find all those in metal pieces and you can get some achievements. For me, I'm not going to be doing that. 114, 114, report in. Have the feds arrived? Becker here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Alright. And another thing I loved about this game is the next part coming up. I, I, I kind of wish that in Condemned 1 and 2 there was more crime investigation shit. Because that's what we're doing right now. Like, we're right here and we're going to be finding the, uh... What do you call it? Yeah, we, we found the dead body, and pretty much what we're doing is trying to figure out who killed her. Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime, and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right. All right. Let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. So here we go. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll I glow found it. Purple. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take some pictures and do all that cool stuff. Like, I wish more games were kind of like that. Just a sec. Always scared the shit out of me. Something we're not seeing. Oh Jesus. And I always loved these cut cutaways to that. Run the laser light over the crime scene, and if there's evidence, it will show up a bright green. Hey, Becca, get the lights. The agent's laser works better in the dark. There we go. Yeah, I just, I wish that there was more of this stuff in there, because honestly, it works really good for, uh, for doing scares and everything. That's it. The same mark. Exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the Matchmaker. Kills young women violently poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. And this is where shit fucking... Well, someone yeah, this, this is where shit starts to go down. Coming from in here. Oh god, that was me. I scared myself. Jesus. <laughs> Dang it. I can smell the cigarette smoke. That's yeah, right here, man. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspect still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. Yeah, it's pretty much what this game was, was to find a serial killer that just kept, you know, killing all these people in gruesome ways. <laughs> All clear, Agent. There we go. On my own now. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Yeah, I fucking love this game. This game was so good when it came out. Like even like nowadays, like it's it's sake, it's holding up pretty good. And, like the second one looks like you know better. But the one thing that I can say, I just, I love the story of this one just being, like, FBI guy investigating this. Agent Thomas, Officer Becker, I don't know if there 
we're on a new drug. I mean, there's Thomas Dickinson. There's one coming your way. Oh. Addict amped up on something. What's the young? Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Oh, that's rude. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, stop it. He, he whacked me. Oh, yes. The city's full of them now, Thomas. Addicts, vagrants, psychotic individuals gone terribly bad. They come in all kinds, but mostly violent. He whacked me a little bit. Be careful. Did I kill him? What? Oh my god, I got him. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a feature, too. I forgot, yeah, I could swap my gun to a melee weapon. Yeah, this is... This is always, like, the scariest thing. Also, too, like, I'm, I'm alone in my house right now, so... Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I, I love these games. These games were great. The second one was a little, uh... What do you call it? It wasn't bad, per se. Like, to me, how I felt about the second one was that it was good. But, I just... I, I didn't like how a lot of, um... A lot of the things were with the second one. Like, they, they went more with the supernatural instead of you just being a cop and, like, solving crimes. Like, it, it's not bad. Like, I, I don't mind it. It's just... I wish that there was more games like the first one, where you're a cop, you're investigating a crime scene, crazy shit's going on, and something like that. You know what I mean? Like, that that's what I wish. Like, I wish more games were like that. But, doesn't say that the second one's bad now. If it does come to uh, backwards compatibility, I'll definitely pop her in. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Metal piece collected. I haven't actually collected all these things, and I don't see myself doing it. Hello? Hello? I, I heard you. I hear you skulking around around here. Ooh. Spooky. All sorts of spoo spooky going on here. I'm kind of like hugging my ass against the wall because I'm a little scared. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. Sorry about that, people. Sorry for the little sniffle. Oh, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Fuck me, that's scary. Yo, like, having fucking turtle beaches on and hearing, like, your footsteps. Fuck, that's scary. Hello. Sit down, bitch. Let me just flash my flashlight at you. Because I was actually trying to te- oh, oh, yeah, I forgot the foot! Oh, the foot. Oh, I love the foot. Oh, man, that was the best feature about this game. The foot. Oh, it's the best. It is the fucking best. I love that feature. Like, they have it in the second game too, but I just, I forgot. Like, no game really has that anymore. Like, the games that did that were like Fear and, um, what do you call it? Yeah, there, were, there were a couple other games that had it, but like Fear, this game, and I can't remember the other. I forgot I actually can't, like, aim down sight. That they, they didn't implement that until the second one. Hello. See you. Gotta itch my nose real quick, sorry about that. You can fuck off. Wherever, wherever you are. Oh 
how that noise the you don't really get that same fear like until you're actually like listening to it like right in your ears look how good this helps Sorry for taking my time, it's been a fucking long time since I've played this. Oh, it's scary. find them. So much shit, like, lying around that I'm just knocking myself into where it's starting to scare me a little bit. So yeah, I don't think I can go through there. Yeah, I can't go through there. Okay, here I need to turn up the, the brightness a little. Because it's hard to really see, like, where you need to go. And I'm sorry about this, people. It's just, man, my TV is, like... <sighs> Excuse me. She's getting old, so... Wait, did I make everything darker? I forgot how that worked. Wait, sorry about that. Audio, video... Yeah, there we go, video. Oh, so I've been making it darker the entire time. Nice. Oh, okay. That's why I fucking can't see a goddamn thing. There we go, perfect. Okay. Well, I can't find this dude in here. I'm gonna walk my ass back. Okay, I think I'm, like, throwing myself through a loop here. Like, it, it's been a while since I played this game. I forgot how shitty the run was on here. Yeah, you know what, I'm throwing myself through a loop. I remember it's just, like, keep going forward. Gotta keep scaring myself. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We, we were over here. Yeah, we walked through this door. It was like, hey man, you can run if you got to. Then here's where I got to. Can I check that door? I probably can. Ooh, I can. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, fuck that. The, the, the fucking, like, sharp breathing, man. Activate the fuse box and turn the fuse box and turn the lights back on. Oh, I remember this part. Okay. Slap right in the fucking face. He's just like, oh, look at your gun. Look at that. Oh, look at Oh, you conserved your ammo well there, sir. It's like, I'm gone. Thank you. I needed that. I don't know why I went with Bane there, but all, <laughs> but all right. He's like, yeah, look at that. Track down the suspect and get your gun. Ooh, there we go. Now we came to the portion that I like. We got the good old Chaney. We got the good old Chaney with us. And this is where it gets fucking spooky as shit. 
Because there is an enemy here. He's just, he's skulking around. Hello. Okay. Goodbye. God, so scary. Hear him fucking running around the walls. To me, I like taking my time with this game. Oh. Welcome. Oh god, I'm getting lifted up. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking brawl. Bitch. I'm gonna take this. Give me a 2x4 bolts in it. Can I jump through here? Yeah, I was about to say, it's like it feels like I'm missing something. Like, let's check over here. Okay, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I like taking my time through shit like this. I'm gonna pick that back up again. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I... Oh, oh that noise, though. Oh, man, that noise. That noise is always so fucking spooky. Like, I love when you're having, like, your, uh, or flashbacks or whatever. Alright, now we gotta, f now we gotta pull out the gas -o -mon monitor. And that's usually how we can find some other birds, too. Even though for an Easter egg, that's pretty fucking weird to have dead birds as your Easter egg. But also, too, it leads up to the next game like all the dead birds and everything the whole story of condemned I'm gonna break it down right now just because I feel like it um this guy who we're playing as Mr. Thomas he has like a special crazy power that he doesn't learn that he has until the next game like through this one you don't get any special powers or anything like you're pretty much just police dude solving your case and trying to make sure your name is un unscathed uh, uh, and like not uh, what do you call it and not um, and not like talk down about because like people uh, like later on here think that you killed two people even though you didn't do it Ooh. Uh, no rebar bent rebarb the shit but yeah they think you did that so honestly like that's the uh, the whole whole reason why this game's a thing. Thomas, Thomas, answer me. Hello. We heard an explosion. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? Here. Take this fire axe and chop your way out. You can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster. Uh, that's what I, 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 Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. Find yourself in a sticky situation. Oh yeah, that was another thing too. I stun you, If you're close, <laughs> you'll find it a great. I love the fucking stun gun around. thing. Let's, the stun gun or the taser was one of the best things they had in this. That honestly kind of broke the game. Like I loved it. It's just like boom, just taser the guy. <laughs> yeah, knock knock, fellas. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on. See you hiding behind the wall. You ain't fucking slick, there, fella. Oh fuck me. Oh. Okay. Oh, that dude fucked me up like a little bit. But uh, yeah, I always love that about this game. The uh, like that that you can find any uh, breakable like or, or weapons in this game didn't break. That's what I liked about it. 
in most areas you'd go into, you honestly weren't too like you, you you weren't too worried about like not being able to not get in there. Oh yeah, and there's the the Xbox Easter egg because if you go into that room, you get a, you get a, a challenge or an achievement. For finding every single like Xbox, I think that's playing Condemned. Ah, I remember that. What a crazy Easter egg! Like I love that. But uh, yeah, to the to the point, it was. Uh, it's good that this game had like breakable like open doors and other things. With with this the, with the second game, uh, most of your weapons would break and you'd be down to your fists. But honestly, your fists weren't that bad. Like it, honestly, I love the fist combat. The fist combat was amazing. Like, what made the fist combat really good is, like, you could do combos and other shit. Like, that's what I loved about it. No, no, I want... There we go. No, I want the axe. Yeah, that's what made this game really fucking crazy. I, lo I loved the, uh, the, the the combos and everything. With this game, the taser was kind of my pride and joy. Because it was like, hey, hey asshole. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what you wanted to do. Oh, I missed him. Let me, let me back up. Fuck me. God, it's been a while since I've played. I feel super rusty. I like I, I gotta let them attack me first. Fuck, I missed. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually about Oh yeah, I forgot they can get like a second win type thing. Fuck you. Yeah, I forgot they can actually get like a second wind type thing that you can do. Where if you get knocked down once, you can like, oh health kits. Oh thank God, it's fuck. I needed it. Oh I needed it. I needed it super bad. But uh, yeah no. I I what I what I loved about this game is just the whole story and just everything. And uh, and yeah, it was, just, it, it was a, this was a really good game series, and I wish they made a third. It maybe went to like a different character because it w with this with this game it ended with a, a not not really a twist more of like hey there's gonna be another game and then condemned kind of went down the toilet and just didn't resurface. Oh fuck me! You scared the scared the piss out of me, friend. Ah, uh, what's? Uh, okay, you're. Uh, you're not gonna let me slam on you. <laughs> I wanted to slam, but I fucked up. Well, was anybody there? Oh, look at you! Look at you! Fuck. Ah, god damn. This is slow as shit. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Spooky. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna drop this and pick up a better weapon. But, uh, but yeah, no, what I, what I loved about this game is just everything that you had on you was unbreakable. That's what kind of made it really cool. Like, I think maybe the, 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 not the pipes, but shit. Oh, wait, no, this is, no, this is what I wanted. Okay, good. How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same. Righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange turns. Please! Drop the weapon now! Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visit him again. But yeah, that's what I loved about this game. It was like, um... You, you technically get set up 
in the same point of being like, hey, you know, you killed these people now. Um, after you pretty much, like, you're, you're at home now. At the end of this cut, well, excuse me, cut scene. And, uh, you're just like, fuck man, I got my ass beat. A fucking thrown out of a building and I landed on a car. And, like, you're, you're just, like, hurt really, really bad. Yeah, I loved Ethan Thomas as a character back when. Like, he was awesome. And there's a spook. Another spook right there. Oh, I loved it. Like, I'm not too, like, spooked right now because, honestly, it's like... You know, I've, I've seen a lot of the spooks here. And also, the like, commentating is not really, like, you know, spooking me. Hello, Ethan. <laughs> Who are you? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. Yeah, and then here's other father's. buddy character. Yes, I remember you a long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night? Well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead. Shot with your weapon. And you will be blamed for their deaths. And then there you go. That's pretty much the game. Ridiculous. I'll just tell them- What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up. It's the police. Damn. Take your bag and head across to the metro station. I will meet you later. Hey, Thomas, you know you're in there. Open up now. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. No it's pretty much like you're being technically framed without like the killer even needing to do any work. It was just like, here, I'm gonna use your gun, I'm gonna kill these people, and you're gonna get blamed for it. I'm sorry, officer. You woke me from sleep. No, I... And even, too, like, it happens in the other game, like, in number two, like, that's what I thought was kind of repetitive about the second game. Like, it, like, that, that's what I mean, like, it wasn't bad. Like, I, I love the second game. The second game was a shit. Like, same with this one, too, but it was, like, since this one came out first, and, you know, everything else, um, like, the, the second one did a lot of what this one did, and, uh, yeah, it was just, it, it felt kind of repetitive, too. To a point, it felt repetitive, like, until they got into, like, the hardcore cultsy stuff, where it was like, hey, you know, cult, and bullshit and scary things going on. But, uh... But yeah, no, like, that's what I love about this one. Like, this is the original. This is the one that I, I remember playing, like, nights and nights and nights on and getting myself spooked. That's why, honestly, like, I'm not jumping to every scare. Like, right now, what I can say that I'm jumping to are, like, the parts where dudes are, like, jumping and doing shit. Because this is... This isn't all random, but... Uh, like, I don't remember enemy spawns, like, obviously. Alright. Look at me. There I am. Receiving image data. You're a lucky man, Thomas. I'm still here. Thank God. I thought they would have suspended my lab access. They still might. It hasn't occurred to them yet. I didn't kill those guys. I know, Thomas. Well, I'm not certain what I do or don't know, but I'm pretty sure I still trust you. And that goes a long way. Understood. And so, this is your other what about friend the character. Well, no standing on ceremony then. Oh, it's a picture of you, Thomas. In your apartment. I remember that hideous I love that. from last year's Christmas party. It had to have been taken from across the alley. From within the metro station? It appears so. I'm also seeing smudges across the face of the photo. Locate a good sample and transmit it to me. Go, Nicole. 
collect some of that. That's real perfect. So wait, these photos were processed here, somewhere within the station. That would be my guess. Oh okay, yeah, the other thing that I love about this, the story of this game, is, uh, like, this guy, like, whoever is, like, saw you, or whoever is doing, doing this to you, they've been watching you for a pretty goddamn long time. Like, that, that, that's what I like. Because, um, like, the, these photos weren't of, like, what do you call it? Like, they weren't of, like, last night. Or whatever. They were for, like, nights and nights and nights ago. Like, so th this dude's been... Oh, get fuck, kid. This dude's been watching you for a really long time. He knows all your moves, all your secrets. And that's why it's so scary, like to, to like to think about it and to find things like that. Now I think about that, like somebody has been watching you and developing pictures, like let's say near the like the tunnel, like or not tunnel. It wouldn't be a tunnel. Sorry, no, it'd be like the train station. And and this dude has been constantly watching you. And just what the fuck was that? Oh, okay, whatever, it wasn't, it wasn't anything important. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just, it's a scary thought of, like, you know, so, like, just the whole fact of you not knowing that somebody's watching you type thing. Ooh, conduit. Ah, this is one of my favorite, because it hit quick, and it was a uh, little, little, little metal, metal nub right there. But yeah, no, it was like, it, it's just a very, like, scary feeling of dread that it's like man you didn't even know that this dude was watching you the entire time you know what i mean like that's pretty much what it is and it's such a it's it's a good thing to go with on stuff because like you, you saw how many pictures that there were of, of agent thomas like there was a giant like dumpster full of it or not dumpster like garbage can full of it <laughs> so it's like man this dude's been he's been eyeing you up a while <laughs> That's why it's pretty scary. Okay, I just went through here. I, I just went through an alternate way, I guess. I guess, I guess. Hello. This is Thomas. It's Van Horn. Listen and be quiet. I don't have long. The police are now searching, or more properly destroying your apartment. They seem to have no faith in your innocence. But I am innocent. I know that. You must prove And that's pretty much leading up to saying, like, hey, you know, like, passed down from generations to generations, or whatever the fuck, like, it was. It was like, hey, you know, you, you are a special individual. And that was the whole thing about Thomas, that he was a, a special individual, and his, his, uh, his family had this thing with their lungs. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Ow. Sit down, fucking scary homeless guy. Christ. I did want to get this pipe back. This pipe's shit, too. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's it's really uh Yeah, it's really good. Like uh yeah, they had this like special ability that they kept from him. And the person that they told told it told it to was uh, Malcolm Van Horn cuz he was kind of there to like oversee like your progress type thing and how everything's going. 
just kind of like keeping an eye over you, kind of like uh, like a guardian or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's why he's here in this game, saying like, "Yo, man, you know the reason why shit's going down the way it is is because you know you got a pretty special gift that people are super jealous of and that they honestly want." Because he can do like Dovakin show. It's like to just to just spoil it. Like, just lightly. Okay, so I need a sledgehammer. But yeah, he can do shouts. Like, he can, like, you know, do some shit like that. I don't like when the fucking music goes quiet. Something I can tell you for free, I don't like when the fucking music gets quiet. That's some fucking spooky shit. But yeah, it's pretty much Thomas's thing. Like, he's kind of like Dovakin. The Dragonborn. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. And, um... Yeah, in the second game, he really capitalizes on the whole, like, him being able to do that. Plus adding in, like, good melee combos. Because in the, in the other game that they have that I can't really plug in and play for us... He looks really crazy. Like he, he has like longish hair. Um, I gotta learn to close doors behind me. He has like uh, longish hair. He's like he just he just let himself go type thing, and he's usually in the uh, in the bar like twenty four seven. Compared to in this game where he's like you know. Come on, hit me, bitch. Oh, fuck, you hit me. Oh, fuck. Ooh, pump shot gun. Ooh, three shots, pump shot. I'm down with that. But yeah, um, yeah, that was his whole gimmick and his whole thing. Like, in the, the other game that he was like, oh, I'm... Ooh. Ooh. I'm washed up caught. Shit's just not going good for me. Two shots. Well. There we go. Just if anybody wants to come down there and use that, I'm the only one with the gun. <laughs> me. I'm the only one. For now. For now, I'll, I'll probably go back to melee too, because honestly, three shots. Ain't them. Hello. Spooky shit. I heard some fucking spoofy shit. I probably missed it, but. Oh, I hate, I hate that noise. Oh, I hate that. God, I hate that noise. That noise is just no bueno. Oh, yeah, so no, I have to, like, actually go all the way back. Okay. There's health kit if I need it. Or can I hammer through this door? Like, can I do that? No, I can unlock. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. Okay, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna close you. We're gonna... We're gonna close you because I don't want anything coming up from behind me. Oh fuck, what did I just get? Oh, there he is. There go. Another one. Come on, bitch. I blocked that, that's gay. Yo, I blocked that. I even held it up and he still hit me. That's so stupid. Oh man. Condemn the. Something over here? For real? No, there's nothing over here. Oh, wait, did I lay that dude out on the table? Oh, I thought I laid that dude out on the table. That would have been sick. Yeah, okay, so. Here we go. Close the door. And then. Give me a quick wham bam with the hammer. Alright, alright, alright. 
let's check around a little bit. I really don't fucking like that noise. Like, oh, that's the best part, and then hearing it, like, so close in your ear. Like, the rumbling. Okay, yeah, the door's closed. Okay, everything's good. I'm gonna take this now, because I don't think I need a fucking... A large weapon. Okay. God, I don't like that noise. I really don't. I always hated hearing that noise. God, I hate hearing that noise. Like, it's just, it's so, like, low tone, and just, ugh, oh, I don't like hearing, like, the little, like, fucking evil laughing in your ear. Oh, man, that ain't no good. All sorts of no good. Alright, we're gonna take, take a minute and chill. Thomas speaking. Ethan, it's Van <laughs> How do you know this number anyway? I know I many things. <laughs> Since your father's death, I watched you. Hoping that you would find your potential. My potential? Yes. You've become an excellent investigator. Not through training or luck, but instinctually. However, you'll find that you are capable of seeing so much more. Again with the Again instincts. Again with the instincts. They're a gift from, well, perhaps not from God. Remember, they can help you and others. Again, I must go. Be careful. And the plot thickens. And I don't have a crowbar. And there's a shotgun in there, but you know what? I don't mind it. Oh. Or is there a, a shotgun? Okay, let me see. I think there's a shotgun in here. Oh, I was right. Ooh. Get some. Okay, so, oh yeah, now we're in here, like we're in the, uh, what would this place be? I love these, like, oh god, the stink, the bird stink. <laughs> god, I can smell that bird from a mile away. Yeah, I see you, man. I see you. Come on now. Come on out. Yeah, fucking help you then, you fucking idiot. Yeah, run, run directly into the shotgun. Do it. Oh, you're dumb, aren't you? Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, let's pull out smell vision. See what's going on. And you know the funny thing about that is a smell vision is an actual thing nowadays. Yeah, that, that's such a hilarious thing, like, talking about, um, what was it, uh, yeah, smell vision like, how there's a biotic, or, like, there's a smeller thing on this game. Yeah, there there's actual smell vision now, like, you can, like, for the the South Park game, like, the newest one, you can get the, the nauseous rift, where it's just like, you know, you can put your uh, your nose like around this thing, and whenever you fart or you do things, you can smell it. It's such like a really stupid feature, but it's so cool that we're in that, that type of shit nowadays. You know what I mean? Where you can like smell things through like a game or something. Like, I don't know, that that's always like mind-boggling.